Hi, my name is Kevin Wins. Just in case you did not already know this, I have a bald spot <laughs> on my entire body. I can see there are a few other people out there who are as lucky as me. As for the rest of you, you're okay too. I did not know it at the time, but when I was three years old, my parents were devastated to find out that I was diagnosed with alopecia areata. Our first reaction was to seek medical treatment. We even looked at some holistic treatments. Then we saw emotional treatment, and that was when we found CAP. When I first came to a CAP meeting, I was, I was one of four initial kids and in this small group. And at the time, CAP was just a simple idea for Mr. and Mrs. Whitehovers to find help for Maddie and find kids like herself. A couple years passed and those four kids turned into eight, then 16, and the group grew over the years. The location changed too. We went to rock gyms, climb walls, arcades and batting cages. It was a far drive for us, but I always looked forward to going to the CAP meetings. When I was younger, I loved going because it was fun. But now, I realize it's because it was a place I could go where this didn't matter. I was not looked at strangely, judged, or worse. Someone comes up to you because they think you have a life-threatening disease. I can still remember being six or seven and being in a public place and having some kid or parent stare at me. I would turn to my parents and ask, what are they staring at? Each time, my mom and dad would approach the parent or child and explain my condition. I know CAP had a lot to do with building confidence for my mom and dad to approach people. They talked to other people to spread the word, educate them, and raise awareness. My mom never missed an opportunity to tell other people about me and alopecia, whether it was a complete stranger or all my classmates. I always loved CAP and what it did for me. But at some point I realized being part of this group was just a as important as it is for my parents as it is for me. Over the years, I came to CAP events and met different kids. Each time, there were more and more kids and people traveled from farther away and different states as well. Final Mr. Wytovich, he knows how many states and countries CAP has spread to here tonight. And I'm sure he'll post this on Facebook before I finish talking. <laughs> my, family never, never, er, my family traveled further to go to the meetings too. I mean, I know bald people are better than normal people, but I don't know why they travel so far to see each other. <laughs> then, at the age of eight, I think it clicked in my shiny little head. Cap was a place I could go to where I could just be a kid. I could play on the playground and feel normal. I could shoot some hoops and not get stared at. Well, some parents were staring at me, but they were staring at me because I was handsome and confident and normal. <laughs> like to have hair? Well, I do a little bit because my hair has fallen out and regrown about seven or eight times in the past 12 years. My hair comes and goes. Well, I guess you could say it mostly goes. There are two things that are prominent in my life. One has been alopecia. The second has been cat. My family has been part of this group, this community, for more than 10 years and I've seen it grow into this. It's a beautiful thing. And over the years, I've done a lot of cool stuff. I've gone surfing, volunteered with the annual street sheet sale, and most importantly, the New York Yankees had the opportunity to meet me. <laughs> they are so lucky, and I'm sure it is a day they will never forget. <laughs> Their cheater will never be the same. <laughs> but over all that time, all these events, there was always one goal of CAP, to make these kids, well, feel like kids. And I know, I can tell you, that if the goal of CAP is to help kids and kids like me gain confidence, self-esteem, overcome obstacles, I can tell you right now, it worked. There is one frustrating part for me. As a young man with no hair, it's a, but, it's a bit frustrating to see your 13 and 11 year old sister shaving their legs which have more hair on them than you do on your entire body. <laughs> I know when my sisters are older and spending a fortune to have their lady hair removed with wax and lasers, <laughs> they would be the frustrated ones. <laughs> As they embark on a woman's never-ending journey to have their most of their hair removed. <laughs> As 
far as me, money saved on haircuts, $1,500. Money saved on shampoo, $300. Numbers of combs lost, zero. Being the only kid in my family without hair, priceless. Come to think of it, but my estimations, with all the money I saved my parents, they probably owe me a couple grand. I look around the room and see a few other heads that, like mine that God created perfect. So for the rest of you, don't feel so bad. We live in a world where different can be the best thing possible, or can be a huge challenge. For me, it has been great because it has given me the best thing possible. It has given me a story. And by all of you here tonight supporting this awesome cause, you are officially part of that wonderful story. You are not only helping a great cause that started over a decade ago, as an idea in the White Toach's living room, you are part of a cause that is raising awareness, building support, and giving some young child self-esteem so from years from now, so from years from now, he or she will have the confidence to stand up here in front of a packed house and offer thanks to show their appreciation for what Cav has done for them. Over the years, I've learned to stop being nervous about stuff. I've learned that what my mom and dad have been saying all these years is really true. Mom, don't let this go to your head. But it's not about what's on the outside. It's what's in here that counts. Truly really true, an alopecia areata is a perfect example of my life. I have wonderful parents. I have two great sisters. I have a lot of really cool friends. And I have a cat. More importantly, I have no hair, and I'm glad I don't, because this gift helped me grow into the person I am today. I appreciate you all coming this evening. Enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you. Woo!